call. <laughs> See, get, getting into the bike culture uh, gets, uh, gets you the attention from everybody. Uh, we are talking about motorbikes, and we want to hear your best biker story. Uh, definitely get in touch with us. And we're uh, thrilled to have uh, Mike Yurko sitting on the couch from Yurko Custom Choppers. Mike, everybody. How are you, sir? Thanks, Darren. Thanks for being here. All right, so I, I don't know a whole lot about bikes, and I've been learning a lot. What's the difference between a chopper and a regular bike? Uh, chopper's a little bit more stripped down, no speedo, um, maybe rigid, no suspension, and uh, a little bit more hardcore. And you actually build the bikes from scratch, right? Some of the bikes we build from scratch. Um, we design the frame, gas tank bars, and depending on what the customer likes. So, so what typically do the customer likes? It all depends on the budget. You know, oh. if they want something totally off the wall, it's going to cost a bit more for the handcrafted design, well, right? What's the more unusual things that you've done? Um, one of the craziest ones was the DeWalt bike. Yeah. Well, with the supercharger, the you know, this, 15 this is inch what tire. Is that what we're looking at there? Yes. Is that the yellow one or the red, the pretty red one? It's the yellow one. Oh, the, pr the pretty yellow one. And that, that one uh, <laughs> you, you made, it's, it's won awards, yeah? It won the World International Show in Daytona, the Rats Hall. It won the Speedway Show, the wow. Boardwalk. Um, we did quite well in the States this year. And what's so remarkable about it? Does it go fast? Is that the thing? I'm such a nerd. Does it go fast? Is it because the <laughs> wheels are so big? What, what is so special about that bike? Um, it's just beautiful. I, oh, it is beautiful. No like, question about it. We asked why, how we won the show, and they said the detailing was phenomenal. Okay, they couldn't cool. pick out too yeah. many flaws on the bike, you know, and the, originality on it. And you're, you're nodding. Are you a big bike fan yourself? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Now, Paul, would you ever get a motorbike? I'm Blue Mike. Paul. Um, honestly, I don't think I can do it. They're too loud for me, you know? Well, let me ask your new friends, does a man on a bike, is that an, uh, an appealing thing? Um, not especially. Maybe a BMX bike, that's an appealing thing. Paula has one. Really? Yes. <laughs> Apparently this one grew up on a farm and uh, learned how to ride bikes at a young age. Is this true? It, it is true. <laughs> <laughs> this one. What do you have? <laughs> this one over here. Uh. <laughs> uh, so so you, you are into uh, the motorcycle culture? I wouldn't really say I'm into the culture. It was kind of just a situational, lived on a farm sort of thing. They were, they were around and so he learned yeah. how to ride one. Tell me about the whole Port Dover thing. We, we saw Paul and, and uh, Diane hanging out there. How many people actually get there? Um, anywhere from maybe five to maybe 50,000. This wow. year it wasn't too many because of the weather. Right, and so the oh. turnout wasn't too good. And what do you what do you do? You drive around on your bike? Um, we set up our display, show some of our um, apparel, our show bikes, and um, hand out cards and talk to people. Very cool. Are you ever afraid of having your very very expensive bike out among so many people, or you just kick their ass if something mm. happens? Most of the people respect it, and um, you don't have to worry about it. Very cool. I want you to hang out uh, while we're talking about bikes. You're our expert today, for sure. Yeah, well, riding your bike, you know, you want to look good. You gotta, you gotta match and be all coordinated and stuff. And Paul went out and he tried to coordinate himself with some leathers and some chaps. So let's take a look at Paul's biker fashion piece. <laughs> 